Hey everyone, welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. This week we're gonna give a design update as well as a project update. Let's get to it. So you've probably seen that I have a new cameraman. Well, that's not entirely true. This video is sponsored by Obsbot and they have a new camera with AI tracking technology. Gotta love the premium packaging. Boom. All right, looks like there's some gesture AI things that you can do. Nice little carrying case here. Oh wow, look at that. So here's the unit. It's kind of got uh, all the degrees of freedom that you need. It's got some magnets you can kind of stick in some places, oh yeah. So I'm recording both with the Opspot as well as my, as well as my laptop camera and uh, recording both audio and video. So I'll do a quick comparison, but uh, yeah, where I've been in the uh, job market looking to do interviews and things like this, uh, this is what I've been using. It'd be much better to use this. We're gonna see if it follows me or the dog. This new Obspot Tiny 4K has AI tracking technology. It also has motion gestures that allow you to zoom. That stops tracking. Back to tracking. Or zoom out again. Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's say you don't need all the fancy gesturing and AI technology. This is the Obspot Meat. Look at that. That's cool. So it does have features where you can blur the background or have several other virtual backgrounds. You have two versions. One's a 4K, the other one is 1080p. Again, great video quality. If you're interested in one of these products, I'll leave a link in the description below along with a coupon code. There are lots of deals at the end of the year. This is the season to get one of these products. So we're gonna get into the design update. This started out as a 3D print of the exact car that I have. And then I put clay on it, sculpted it, put it in a form that I thought would be great. From there, I 3D scanned the clay model and got point clouds and meshes. From there, I asked for help from the viewers to see if they could make a 3D model from the mesh. So I had several people offer to help. Some people did exactly what I asked them to do. So I'll just name a couple of the people that helped out. Chandler War kind of did exactly what I was thinking. Take the mesh, make a 3D model. Laser Sterling also got a 3D model from my scan. He actually has his own YouTube channel. You should check that out. This was the route I was imagining that I could have a 3D model. From there, I can kind of get to the end, 3D print, mold, carbon fiber, everything. Eric Riley converted it, even did a little 3D modeling. That's the same route that Talel did. I also got some great help from Unity Fan. He also has a YouTube channel. You should check that out. He did some modeling for Jay Jarvey, which is the channel builder creator. He was also able to throw on some headlights, taillights, kind of show some alternate designs. So very cool stuff. I also got some help from Erickson Samuel. His images look like they're straight out of a magazine. They, they look really good. So these are really amazing. Check them out. Let me know what you think. The next person that helped me did a reveal video. Let me show you that one.
So Ian's got his own design studio, and you can find him on Instagram. Normally his design services are very expensive, as it is high quality. But we've developed a friendship, and he's decided to help me out. Now with Ian's design, you can see there's actually active aero. There's some behind the front wheels, as well as the rear wheels. It's also got a rear spoiler that flips up. He's even done some aerodynamic analysis, so this could be a track monster. So what'd you think? Let me know in the comments below. I really want to know if there are specific details that you love or want to stay away from, because we are trying to finalize this design and I'm going to make some glorious carbon fiber to fit this design. I really want to thank a heartfelt thank for all that helped with the project, even little or quite big. It's been such a huge honor to work with all of you. This is going to be so great. I am so thrilled. Thank you also viewers for tuning in. You are what helped make this all possible as well. You didn't think we were done, did you? I wanna get you up to speed on our finances as well. I wanna show you where we left off and where we're to and where we're headed. All right, on my channel, we like to be very transparent, even about the costs. So I'm gonna walk you through what we spent on the battery box thus far. So the, the capped on tape that we kind of used for both insulation and to kind of tape some of the thermistors in place, that was only $3.93. The connectors and wire, Together, that was $53.59. The epoxy, I got big tubes, just kind of, I use a lot of it, but I did buy that for this specific purpose. That was $19.29. The thermistors, for 60 of them, I got them for $8.49. To add the thermistors to all the battery modules cost $104.59. All right, so that was kind of the cheapest of all the things. So next, we got the bus bars. So for the bus bars, I paid $778.73. Now that does include shipping. I chose to use a Chinese company. I got 102 bus bars for that amount. So roughly $7 per bus bar. This for me was surprisingly expensive. This is the low voltage connectors. So these are those Deutsch connectors, the circle connectors. Um, I ended up getting eight of them. It's by the female end, the male end, all the metal pins, plugs, things like that. It really added up. I did end up getting my high voltage wire. It has not yet arrived. So I did end up getting some of my high voltage connectors and wiring from China as well. That was $847.21. That included shipping. I got the remainder of my high voltage connectors through a different company. That was $556.46. All right, again, that's a big number. Almost $3,000 for all the electrical components. That does include all the high voltage connectors, all the wiring, everything to make this run electrically. I've also updated uh, time as far as the brakes, rear motor mount, and our fun with clay. All right, so we're calling that one the uh, high voltage battery box, electrical battery box. That's what we'll call that one. So I haven't updated the income in a while, so we'll go ahead and do that. So for shirts, things like that, $22.36. I think once we get the new car design done, we'll make some new shirts, new apparel, see if we can drive up some more business. Amazon, $37.75. This is from the affiliate links that I put often in the description of the video below. Uh, these are tools I use, things like that, and if you click on those, even if you don't buy that tool, if you buy something else on Amazon, I will usually get a small commission. So thank you to those who suggested Patreon. I uh, created a Patreon account, had that going for a couple months now. Uh, we are at $401.58. So if you're interested in getting a few more behind the scenes details, um, if that's kind of your thing, if you'd like to help support the channel, go check out my Patreon page. I will leave a link in the description below. 
So sponsors, that's $3,500. They are a big part of what helps this channel make the content that we can. So I try and pick sponsors that I think you guys will like, that is kind of car related or garage related uh, or man related. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy those, check those sponsors out. Again, they're a big help to the channel. For YouTube, we got $10,041.97. Now a big part of that is coming directly from you guys. Um, I'm getting a lot of individual contributions those who push the thanks button. I've also had people contact me offline, make donations to really help this channel go. That's what that is, and that is a huge number, way more than last time, so thank you so much. There is another chunk of income. Um, as you can see, it's not quite offsetting the build cost, but it's getting close. Remember, my initial goal for this was to break even for this build. So this is amazing. I think we're gonna be able to accomplish that. Thank you so much to all of you for supporting me. I almost forgot, we still have uh, the cooling and kind of the battery box materials. So let me break that down for you real quick. We have $3,003.19. This is for all the cooling plates as well as all the other plates, essentially all the aluminum. And the interesting thing is about half of that is shipping. So again, I went with a Chinese company and it was extremely inexpensive. Shipping kind of doubled it. Still, that is way less expensive than I could have got here in the States. So this was for hardware, like some of those uh, rubber washers, the bolts that hold everything together, uh, the threaded rods, drills and taps. This also covers the cable glands and clamps as well as the tubing that I'm planning to run for cooling. So that's the total spend, total revenue. We're still a little bit in the hole. I think the uh, big takeaway is that I'll say most of the spending is done. We're never done spending. We can always spend more. But again, most of the big items, batteries, motors, um, the high voltage stuff, the battery box, um, that's all done. We still have a lot more to do, but I would say we're over the majority of the spending. Hopefully we still have some more revenue to come. All right, so now that you can see where we're to with the finances, I'm gonna bring this kind of full circle. I am still unemployed. We are about on month five now. That's a long time to go without uh, a paycheck. Uh, YouTube, as you can see, helps a little bit, but it will not be enough to pay the bills. I have thought of another idea that could potentially solve that problem. Here's an idea. If you have a car that you would like me to build on YouTube, let's get in touch. If I can get paid for the work, that will allow me to keep all the YouTube money, also get paid. I think that'll get me enough to get by. I think that's a great opportunity. So if you've got a cool car, cool idea, let's get in touch. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in. That'll do it for this time. See you next time. Oh, I got my hair. I suck. All right, so there's the updated. What else? This also covered the, uh, what do we call it now?